Hey team, I'm Maddie. Welcome to Science Side Up. And today we're going to talk about um, time travel and whether or not it's possible. Probably misspelled this joke, but I'm sort of too lazy to look it up. So when we're talking about time travel, um, right now that still lives entirely in the realm of science fiction, um, but I want to go through like what is and isn't possible based off of like our <laughs> current understanding of science. So I'm not going to talk about wormholes or other workarounds to limitations to time travel based off of our current understanding of physics. I feel like that's a different video. Um, so I really just want to go over what is theoretically possible based off of our current understanding of like physics. So is time travel possible? To the future? Absolutely. Um, that one is kind of boring because we're all doing it right now, right? You and I are both traveling into the future just at the normal rate of time. So that's not what we think of when we think about time travel. Right now, if I wanted to really travel to the future, um, what I would need to do is get on a spaceship or get in a machine or something, which doesn't currently exist, but get somehow make myself travel really, really close to the speed of light. And if I did that, um, then time would move slower for me than it would for you, assuming you're not in my super cool rocket ship that goes close to the speed of light. Um, so time is going to move slower for me than it does for you. So in theory, um, what would happen as I'm traveling really close to the speed of light uh, would be that, say, two years pass for me, while 200 years pass for you. So in that way, I have in fact traveled into the future, right? And this is pretty well explored in a lot of science fiction stuff. Um, like uh, there's always an episode, you know, like in sci-fi tropes where there's always a body switching episode. There's always like gets possessed by an AI episode. Um, there's always a, uh, oh, we come upon a, um, a ship that can't travel faster than the speed of light. It's traveling close to the speed of light. Um, and everybody on board is in stasis because they've been traveling for a thousand years in our time, but, you know, only a few years have passed for them kind of thing. <laughs> um, so that's one way of thinking about traveling into the future. Um, but what about traveling into the past? So the short answer is that we can't do that. Um, but I'd actually like you to engage in a thought experiment with me so we can think about maybe broaden what we mean about time travel. Okay, so imagine that this is planet Earth. My art skills are amazing, I know. And then we have a person here on planet Earth. Now for this thought experiment, I want you to imagine that we have the ability to just instantaneously transport, we'll call him Temi, anywhere in the universe, right? Just instantaneously do that. Um, we're not gonna worry about how, this is a thought experiment. And then we're also going to imagine that he has like a perfect telescope. Um, so maybe we'll give him a camera because I can draw a box with a circle in it, um, which is a camera now. Okay, so when Timmy here 
looks out into space and say he sees a distant star, right? Let's say that star is, the, that, the star that I drew there, let's say that that is, oh, I don't know, 60 million light years away. So we'll say that this distance is 60 million light years. So um, if Timmy here, when he looks at that star and he sees it with his like perfect camera, right? What, what he could take a picture of is this star or maybe the planets orbiting it um, as they were 60 million years ago. Um, so now imagine that we take Timmy and let's say that there is a planet over here, right? That's orbiting, that's orbiting our distant star. Um, and we use our instant teleporter to anywhere in the universe trick. And we put him over here. And now he looks back at Earth. Well, he would see Earth as it was 60 million years ago. So if he were to take a picture with his imaginary thought experiment e perfect camera um, of Earth, he would be taking pictures of dinosaurs. Um, and let's say that instead of traveling 60 million light years, right, he just traveled back, I don't know, maybe there's another planet over here. Boop. That's... 10,000 light years. So now, if we have Timmy take a picture of Earth, he would see like the first humans. Um, uh, 10,000 years is like when the first humans left Africa, right? I'm pretty sure. Editing Maddie will double check that. Um, so all of this to say, uh, while we can't travel to the past, we can observe it, which I think is actually really cool and an underexplored part of theoretical time travel. Um, so all you sci-fi writers out there, please imagine science fiction like photojournalist traveling through space to photograph Earth's history, right? I don't know, I'd read that story. I might write that story, but I'm writing other things right now. And I have a YouTube channel and I'm trying to do a dissertation and the world's on fire and Okay, sorry, bringing it back. Not that this video was inspired by the desire to just like, maybe we could just like fast forward and skip this part of human history. Yeah, there's part of me that kind of wants that. But again, that's selfish and irresponsible. So we'll just live through the worst timeline. This video is getting depressing. I'm sorry, team. We were talking about cool time travel shenanigans. So time travel shenanigans and super cool sci-fi photojournalists. Anyway, so the takeaway from this video is that um, since we travel slower than the speed of light, um, we can travel to the future, right? Um, and we can, in theory at least, control the rate at which we travel into the future. Um, and we can observe the past. Travel to the future, observe the past, but we can't flip those. So we can't observe the future or travel to the past. Now what is kind of interesting is that 
in theory, if, if I was a magical unicorn of a being who um, existed traveling faster than the speed of light, speed of light's kind of a barrier. Nothing can travel at the speed of light. You're either slower than it or theoretically faster than it, but we've never found anything that travels faster than it. Um, so it's kind of like a unicorn, right? There's no reason it can't exist. We've just never found one. Um, so let's say I'm a magical unicorn traveling faster than the speed of light. In that case, my limitations get flipped. I can observe the future and travel to the past, but not the other way around. So side note, that's kind of how Merlin from the Once and Future King works. So I guess if you're a magical unicorn or Merlin specifically from the Once and Future King, th those would be the things that travel faster than the speed of light and travel to the past um, and can observe the future. Uh, yeah. Time travel is confusing, and that's why there's so many sci-fi shows based around it. Okay, team, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you like this video. I hope you and those you care about are well and staying safe. Um, until next Sunday, uh, like, subscribe, and don't forget to be kind. Bye, team.